So the next topic is dynamic programming. In dynamic programming, the algorithm or the strategy is used for solving any particular algorithm is based on number of stages rather than solving whole problem as a whole means any particular problem will be stored, solved in different stages in dynamic programming. One more thing it says that the solution to this particular problem will be viewed as a result of sequence of decisions. So what exactly the difference between the 3D method, what we have learned before, and the dynamic programming is that in 3D method, only one sequence of decision is generated. But whereas in dynamic, many decisions are being generated. This will be more clear when we will solve some problem based on dynamic programming. Okay? So one particular concept that is multi-state graph. So this particular concept we will be solving by using this strategy with dynamic programming. So by dynamic programming strategy, we will be solving multi-stage graph problem. Okay. So what is multi-stage graph? Is nothing but a directed graph where you will be having your n vertices and n edges where in which the vertices will be partitioned into number of states okay so you can see in this particular graph i'm having this is one stage where i'm having only one vertex this is a second stage where i'm having four vertices this is a third stage where i'm having three vertices and this is my fourth stage, which contains one vertex. Okay. So, what it says is I'm having S and T as the vertex, like V1 and VK. Now, K is nothing but any n number of word, uh, I can say stages. Right. Now here with the previous example, this example, I'm having the value of k as 4 because I'm having 4 stages over here. Right. So from v1 to v4. Okay? So s is nothing but the source and t will be over here that is nothing but the destination. Okay? One more thing which we have to assume here, nothing but c of ig. The C of IJ indicates that cost of that edge, which edge that is I to G. Okay. So what is the cost of path from S to T? Is nothing but the sum of the cost of edges on the path. Okay. So multi-stage graph problem is to define a minimum cost path. So what is the of this particular problem that is multi-stage graph. So by multi-stage graph concept, we will be finding the minimum cost part okay, from n number of stages. So how we have to initially move? Initially, we will be moving by considering the solution as k minus 2 decisions. Now, what is that k minus 2? For example, I'm having four stages. So the value of the k will be 4. So 4 minus 2 is nothing but 2. So I have to move each stage from 2 stage. Okay. This particular concept will be more clear if I solve one of the problems. So you will understand what exactly the terms we have used over here. So this was a theoretic or a small overview of what is dynamic programming and by considering the dynamic programming concept, we will be solving multi-stage graph. Okay. So here is one problem. 
this is the first problem we will be solving by forward approach now in this particular concept that is multi stage graph we can solve the problem in two ways one is forward approach and another is backward approach so the first problem i will be handling with forward approach what we have to do i will be finding the minimum cost from source to destination now source is nothing but my vertex 1 and destination is nothing but vertex k where k represents that how many stages i am have so you can see over here i am having five stages one is this two is this three is this four is this and fifth is this I'm having five stages over here. Okay. We have one formula which you will be using while finding the cost. The cost of I J. I J is nothing but the edge from which particular edge to which from which vertex to which vertex. That particular edge I will be talking about. Okay. Next, min of C of R J L plus cost of J plus one L. So for time being, hold this. I will tell you later that what this particular statement means. Okay. After that, what are the what is exactly the total number of stages we have? So you can see, yeah, I'm having five stages over here. This is my source. This is my destination. So one, two, three, four, and five. So as I told you before, while telling regarding the theory part, we have to move initially. K minus two stage. Right. So what is K? K is nothing but that is nothing but total number of stages. K minus two will nothing but three. So initially I have to consider the vertex three in stage three. So vertex in stage three. Okay. So vertex that is this in stage three. Now this okay. Uh, vertex that is stage three. Right? So stage three for first vertex that is six. So cost of three comma six. So cost of three comma six. So cost of three comma six. As I told you, we are doing this particular or solving this particular problem by using forward approach. Okay. So I will be moving towards this side. So cost of three comma six. Now six vertex is having two edges, one towards nine vertex and another towards ten. Now how I should write this? The cost of three comma six will be minimum of. Now actually, what is the motto? I have to choose one part, which is. Minimum between these two, like one is six, another is that is uh, five, right? So six and five. So between six and five, which is a minimum one, that will be we will be choosing to reach to the destination. Okay. So what I should write minimum of that is six, that is nothing but the weight plus cost of four. Comma nine, okay. Comma minimum. Now that is next is five. Now this is the edge what we have. This edge which is going towards ten. Five plus cost of four comma ten. That is four stage ten four x. Okay. Now you can see six will remain as it is plus. What is the cost of four comma nine? Four comma nine cost is what? What is the weight? That is four. So four will be written over here. Now, 
Next is five. How five I got? Because this is the vertex. This five as the weight and four comma ten. What is the cost of four comma ten? This is nothing but you can see over here. So five plus two. So six plus four that is ten, and five plus two that is seven. So what is the minimum of ten comma seven? Is nothing but seven. So what this indicates is. From this node to reach towards destination, I will be choosing which path which is giving me seven as a weight. That is nothing but from five by choosing five weight towards ten, and from ten to two. Okay, you can see in general if you want to view from six, I am having two path. To reach towards destination, one is by taking this route, another is by taking this route. But what is the total of this six plus four is ten, another is five plus two is seven. So obviously, I will be taking this particular path that is six to ten, ten to seven. Is it clear? Yes. Now, as I am done with three. Cost of three comma six. I will be taking cost of three comma seven. The cost of three comma seven will be what? How many edges this seven is having? Two edges seven is having. One is which is moving towards nine. Another which is moving towards ten. So how I should write it down? I will be writing min of what is this? What is the weight four? You can see over here. And cost of four comma nine. Okay, so this is cost of four comma nine. Next, one more weight is three. Then cost of four comma ten. That is nothing but here. So three plus cost of four comma ten. What is cost of four comma ten? Four comma ten. What is the cost? Two. So. Four comma nine, sir. What is the cost of four comma nine? That is four. So that is the reason four plus four will become as eight. Now three plus cost of four comma ten. Cost of four comma ten is nothing but two. So three plus two is nothing but five. So what is the minimum between eight and five? Is five. Okay. So the same way I will be finding cost of three comma. You can see cost of three comma eight. Again, I am having two edges, one towards ten and another towards eleven. Okay, so how I will be writing the formula? That is min of that is min of what is the edge weight five and cost of four comma ten. So min of five is cost of four comma ten. Another is six cost of Four comma eleven. So six plus cost of four comma eleven. Now you have to just find it out. What is the cost of four comma ten? Is two. And what is the cost of four comma eleven? Is five. So it will be what? Five plus two. And this is five plus. Sorry, six plus five is nothing but seven and eleven. So what is the minimum between seven and eleven? Is nothing but seven. Okay. So I am done with all the vertices which are there. At third stage. Now I will be going to the vertex, next vertex. Now, how to find the next vertex? Consider k minus. Before we have done k minus two. Now I will be doing k minus three. So k minus three will give me second vertex or second stage. So second stage is nothing but this. So I have to go. I have to first consider that. Second stage with vertex two, second stage with vertex three, second stage with vertex four, and second stage with vertex five. So 
as I got second stage, you can see cost of second stage and second vertex. So cost of second stage and second vertex that is two comma two. So what I have to find, what is the edge? I'm having three edges from second vertex, right? So one is four and cost of three, six. So you can see that is four and cost of three, six. The same way, which is another weight that is edge, that is two. So two plus cost of three, comma, seven. So two plus cost of three, comma, seven. The same way I'm having one more, that is another edge with 11 as a weight. So 11 plus cost of 3, 8. So 11 plus cost of 3, 8. So now 4 plus cost of 3, 6. This we have already found that is 7. So just you have to take that particular value. Okay. So 7 plus 4 is nothing but 11. Now 2 plus cost of 3, 7. So cost of 3, 7 already we have found the value that is 5. So just enter that particular value as 5 and the value is 2 plus 5 is 7. Next, cost of 3 comma 8. So cost of 3 comma 8, what we have found? 7. So 11 plus 7 is nothing. 18. So what is the minimum of 11, 7, 18 is 7. Okay. The same way I have to do 2 comma 3, 2 comma 4, 2 comma 5. Because second stage 2 comma 2, 2 comma 3, 2 comma 4, and 2 comma 5. Okay. Next, I have to consider k minus 4. So k minus 4 is nothing but first stage. So cost of 1 comma, cost of first stage and first vertex. That is 1 comma 1. How many edges I am having? 1, 2, 3, 2. So minimum of what is the first edge weight? Is nine okay? So nine plus two comma two. You can see nine plus cost of two comma two comma. Next, what is the weight? That is seven. So seven plus cost of two comma three. You can see seven plus cost of two comma three. The same way three plus cost of two comma four. 3 plus cost of 2 comma 4. Next, that is 3 plus cost of 2 comma 5. That is, sorry, not 3, that is 2 plus cost of 2 comma 5. Now, all these values, that is cost of 2 comma 2, we have already found that is 7. So, you have to just enter that particular value. The same cost of 2 comma 5, already we have found. So, it is 15. Write down the value. Cost of 2 comma 3, already it is there, that is 9, write down the value. And add this particular value, so you will get 16, 16, 21 and 17. What is the minimum value? That is 16. Okay. Now you have to find what is that uh, from every stage which we have considered. So at stage 1, only having one particular vertex, that is nothing but vertex 1. Stage 2. You can see in stage 2, which is a minimum 7, 9, 18, 15. There's nothing but 7. From which vertex that is two. second vertex, right? Second stage, second vertex. So I will be considering 2 as a vertex. Now in stage 3, you can see I got the values as 7, 5, and 7. That is minimum 5. So what is that vertex? That is 7. Third stage, 7 vertex. Third stage, 7 vertex. Now in fourth and fifth, we have not found. But directly we can count from this. Fourth stage, what are the cost? 4. Means what is the weight? That is 4, 2 and 5. So which is the minimum? 2. From which vertex? That is 10th vertex. So 4 with 10th vertex. And 5. Obviously, fifth stage is having only one, so that is 12. So, after you find these all stages, the minimum part sequence you have to write that is from 1 to 2, 
With the same concept, that is finding the minimum cost part by using that approach. So this is a homework. Just go through it and find it out the answer. The answer will be from 1 to 2, 2 to 6, 6 to 8, and 8 to 9. So these two were the examples of forward approach. Now the next problem is based on back, backward approach. Okay. So here also we will be finding the minimum cost by multi-stage graph using backward approach. So only a small change other than that the whole concept is same how we have learned regarding forward approach. So we have uh, five stages over here. The same formula that is root cost, that is backward cost of ij is nothing but minimum of v cost of i minus y comma y plus c of that is i j comma l. Okay. Number of stages I'm having five. So from where I should start that we have already learned it is k minus two that is nothing but phi minus two is three stage. Okay. So I will be starting from the third stage. So what I have to choose cost of backward cost of third stage sixth vertex. That is the reason V cost of 3.6. So how many edges six is having? Right? Six is having I have to go towards backward. It means I have to go towards this direction, not towards this direction. Okay. So how many edges I am having? That is two edges. One is towards two comma two, and another is second stage, third vertex. Okay. So what I have to write V cost of two comma two, and what is that edge? That is four plus four. Next is comma second stage, third vertex plus what is the cost of this edge? That is two. Or what is the weight of that H is two. So B cost, that is B cost of two comma two is what two comma two is nine. Okay. So nine plus this four and cost of two comma three. Two comma three. What is the cost of two comma three? That is seven. So seven plus two. Nine plus two is thirteen. Seven plus two is nine. So what is the minimum between thirteen and nine is nine. Okay. The same thing I have to do it. Third stage seven vertex. How many edges I'm having? I'm having three edges. One is two comma two, another is two comma three, and another is two comma five. Okay. So I will be finding V cost of two comma two plus what is the weight? Weight is two. Next is two comma three. What is the weight? Seven. So two comma three plus seven. Next is 2 comma 5, what is the weight? 11. So 2 comma 5 plus 11. Okay. So mean of B cost, cost of 2 comma 2, 2 comma 2 is 9, so 9 plus 2. Cost of 2 comma 3, 2 comma 3 cost is what? 7, 7 plus 7. Cost of 2 comma 5, 2 comma 5, what is the cost? 2, so 2 plus 11. So this after addition, I will be getting 11, 14, 13. What is the minimum? 11. Okay. The same I will be doing for 3, 8. How many edges are having? Again, 3 edges. 1 is cost of 2, 2 plus what is the cost? That is 1. So I have written B cost of 2, 2 plus 1. Okay. Next edge is 2, 4. What is the cost? 11. So 2, 4, 11. Next is 2, 5. What is the cost? 8. So 2, 5 plus 8. Okay. So what is the cost of 2, 2? 9. So I have written here 9. What is the cost of 2, 4? 2, 4. What is the cost?
equals to 3. So I have written 3, 3 plus 11. That is 3 plus 11. Cos of 2 comma 5. That is 2. So 2 plus 8. So after addition, I will be 10, 10, 14, and 10. So my amount is 10. So this is there for the third stage. Now reduce. That is k minus 1. So 5 minus 1 will be nothing but 4 stage. So in fourth stage, you can see fourth stage I'm having two brackets. One is four comma nine. Okay. So I have taken four cost of four comma nine. So four comma nine I have to move towards this direction. Okay. So it is having I adjust one is towards three comma six, another is three comma seven. So three comma six plus six and three comma seven plus four. Not only I have written over here, cost of two comma six plus six, three comma seven plus four. So what is the cost of three comma six? This we have already found. What is the minimum cost? Nine. So nine you have to enter, and this addition will give me fifteen. Cost of three comma seven. What is the cost of three comma seven? Eleven. So eleven plus four is nothing but fifteen. So what is the minimum? The same I have to do for 4 of 10 and 4 comma 11. So here I have 4 of 10 and 4 of 11. So next, k minus 0 is in the fifth stage. Fifth stage I am having only 1. That is, in that case, 1 is towards 9 10, and 2. So you can see, I have written cost of 4 comma 9 plus what is the cost? This is the cost that is 4. Next will be 4 comma 10 plus 2. You can see over here 4 comma 10 plus 2. Next will be 4 comma 11 plus 5. That is nothing but 4 comma 11 plus 5. So these values we have already found. That is 5, 4 comma 9. What is 4 comma 9? So 15 plus 4. What is 4 comma 10? That is 14. 14 plus 2. What is 4 comma 11? 16. 16 plus 2. So will give me 19, 16 and 18. Okay. So what is the minimum over here? That is 16. Next, we have to find the stages. In fifth stage, which fifth stage? What is the mode we have selected? Because I am having only one mode. Okay. One vertex. Stage 4, in stage 4, I'm having 15, 14, and 16, which is the minimum. Okay, what is the node we have went to? That is 10. So 4 is having 10. Now in third stage, I'm having 10, 11, and 9, which is a minimum one. 6 is a minimum. I mean, 9 is a minimum with vertex 6. So third stage will be having 6. Okay, now second stage. What is the minimum? Seven, nine, seven, three, two. So two is minimum with which node? That is five node. So sorry, two is having with okay, uh, many node, right? So from second, yeah. So from second, second stage, you can see from second stage that is. 9, uh, 7, 2, and 2. So I am having 2 with the fifth one, right? And the first stage is with 1 only. So with this, you have to write it down. Well, that is uh, moving from that the first node is moving to third node, third to six, six to ten, and ten to one. Okay. One more we have. Based on the same backward approach, and this is for 